Okay, guys, so we have a uh, Spanish ration today, a ration from Spain on uh, History Saver tonight. This is um, a ration I picked up from foreignmre.com. Um, never tried a Spanish ration before or um, ration from Spain. And it's my first attempt at it, first go at it. I want to try one, just haven't been able to do so. And Foreign MRE had it, and I was able to get it from those guys. And if you need some rations of your own, go check out ForeignMRE.com, uh, best place to go. Um, actually, Foreign MRE is in the chat right now, Art and Nina. So if you're needing a ration, go see those guys. I uh, got this in the mail today from them. And you can't go wrong with Ford MRE. Best place to get rations by far. Um, never had a Spanish ration before. Um, it's my first go at it. And if you look right here, the expiration says December 2018. So it just went out of date. Does that mean it's bad? No. Uh, this ration, I promise you, is still good. Um, you can tell right here by the writing. Uh, Spain right here on the top right-hand corner. And this is an individual combat ration. Um, this is the lunch menu and the B4 uh, unit. Um, and it's pretty cool. I always like whenever you have these NATO approved stamps. For some reason, it always cracks me up. Um, you got this uh, Spain coat of arms here on the top of it. And it comes in a nice green bag. And actually, this ration weighs uh, probably a good three pounds. So um, pretty good filling ration. And we're going to go ahead and break into it. And we got our Nathan's MRE knife here. He's a Ryong. Go check out Nathan's MRE. Um, check out his channel. He always puts a link up to his Amazon store. He has these available in his Amazon store. Very sharp knife. You see me using this in almost every video I do. And uh, we're going to cut it open right there. I know I'm cutting this wrong. But just with the way that I'm sitting, nah, sometimes you got to make do. So, all right. We got it open. And as you can tell, it comes out in a cardboard box. We're gonna set the wrapper right here to the side and you get just a nice little cardboard box. Opens up at the slit right here. And you've got basically your list of ingredients right here and how to use the Esbit stove. Now Esbit stoves have been around um, a long time uh, since World War II uh, for sure because the German army actually will use these es uh, Esbit stoves and over time, they developed to this just little piece of tin that you'll see inside of here. And I can't really read these, <laughs> these, uh, yeah, I, I can't read what's actually in this thing because I don't read Spanish. So it makes it kind of cool. Um, we just have to guess. So you get something right here in a package. And I thought that may have been something leaking, but it is not. Just something where it's rubbed off. And this is going to be your uh, beverage. So... Cool little package here. You got the Spanish coat of arms on it. That's real neat. And then uh, dental cream, toothpaste. So I have never seen that before in a ration. You actually get some toothpaste, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll definitely be trying that out. I've never gotten toothpaste in a ration. Um, then you got your tins here. You've got one right here. You got the Spanish coat of arms on the side. So we'll be checking that out. Is stamp right there on the top of the ration so we'll definitely check that one out <clears throat> these remind me of the b units from uh world war ii uh the c rations or the b units from vietnam and uh, i mean these cans is pretty pretty cool you have pop tops on them as well so um i may actually be reusing these cans for some world war ii uh relabeling and things for display so um, may come in useful for me. And this is a uh, fruit cocktail, basically. And man, I love this. You get the Spanish coat of arms, the Spain coat of arms on the side of the cans. So that's, that's just really neat. And then uh, you get another little uh, can here, which is gonna be a pate. Exactly what I thought it was, is pate. Uh, pate a la uh, pienta, uh, pienta. I don't speak Spanish, so um, you have to <laughs> excuse my, trying to speak Spanish, but uh, cans all look okay as we're coming out here. And then you get another can, which I have no idea what it is. Uh, some, kind of, some kind of meat, car, uh, carny. So, <laughs> um, 
no matter what I pull out, one compared to what you had yesterday, Renee, I'm going to have to go back and watch it because I haven't seen it yet. Um, but, you know, this is pretty neat. You know, you got all this Spanish coat of arms on here, and you have this neat little um, stamp on the side with a can here. So, I mean, just some really neat looking cans. And then you have your heaters for your Esbit stove, the tablets, that, um, the heating tablets themselves. Let's see what else we've got in this thing. Um, isotonic drink. There's an isotonic drink there. I, want, I hope the other bag I said was a drink is actually a drink. Uh, you get another isotonic drink here. We'll just be opening probably one of those. And then you have another isotonic drink inside of here. So pretty cool. Uh, and yet again, you get another isotonic drink. These guys want to make sure that uh, you're definitely not going thirsty. And they all seem to be the same flavor. Yeah, they're, uh, they're all the same flavor, but you get four isotonic drinks in this thing. Then you get a little piece of candy here or gum. So pretty cool. We'll check that out. You, uh, I really don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, disinfectant, there we go. Disinfectant wipes. And you also get some matches. You know, it's always kind of alarming whenever you're pulling stuff out of a box and you really don't know what it is uh, because you haven't taken the time to translate it. So you may wind up eating something that you really shouldn't not be eating. <laughs> but then you got some water for, uh, purification tablets here. They give you two of those. And if you're in the field in combat, sometimes those do come in handy. And check this out. This is your toilet paper or your napkins, uh, whichever one you may need to use this for. And it comes in the bag sealed. So that's pretty cool. A lot different from our United States um, rations that we get it. And then you have your Esbit stove here, um, which we will also be using in just one moment. So basically you have your pate, you have your cocktail, um, some kind of meat of some sort. And this is probably some kind of sardines if I had a guess, and you got your napkin, you've got your matches for your Esbit stove, you have uh, disinfectant wipe, you have your Esbit stove heating element tablets, so I'm gonna put those over there, then you have an isotonic drink, another isotonic drink, another isotonic drink, and one more isotonic drink, so they give you plenty to drink in this ration, you do not have to worry about going thirsty, unless you don't have any water to um, mix it up with. Um, Rehydration salts. You know, I, I probably took one of these out, uh, some rehydration salts out of here and didn't know what it was. Um, you also get a piece of gum, but we'll find out when we come across it. You get water uh, purification tablets and you get some dental fluoride. Man, I cannot get over this. Who packs toothpaste in the ration? That is freaking, that is freaking cool. I definitely want to check that out. And then you get... Um, a mystery package. Um, yeah, I'm not really for sure what this is. You can tell what it is on the front of the package. If any, if any of you have any idea what this may be, please comment and let me know. And uh, But we're going to open it up and try it. Watch me do it, thinking it's some kind of drink, and it's actually a soup. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's always possible. All right, first things first, we're going to get our Esbit stove going here. And uh, get this stuff here heating up and this is basically what your esbit stove looks like you would fold this end down you will fold this end down fold this end up and this end up and then you will just fold your corners in like this and that's basically how your esbit stove is made so um we're gonna Take our Esbit stove. We're gonna pop out a heating tablet. Now, I love these Esbit stoves. They've been around for such a long time, and it's cool to check out the German Esbit stoves from World War II. And uh, they do these things in a package of four like this. So you, you can break it apart and just use half of one. And I think that's what we actually do right now. Because I'm, inter I'm always used to whole one, but I'm interested to see how far half of one of these actually goes. So I'm gonna get some trash out the way and we're gonna take our matches that they give with us and we're actually gonna use this. 
and you just put it over the tablet like so. Set it on top is usually what I do and it catches right up. I've never had a problem with these things. <clears throat> okay, so um, our pate could be actually eaten cold. So the pate will not be heated up. Um, sardines, I I'm probably going to, you know, right when I said I've never had a problem with one of these, the match just goes out. So, yeah. We're going to take, whew, and we're going to put two matches over into it because I can't seem to land a plane here. There we go. That should catch up. Yeah, I think it's getting the job done. Okay, so maybe that'll land a plane for us. Um, our fruit cocktail will also not um, need to be heated up. I mean, who heats up fruit cocktail? But our meat is the main thing we're worried about right now, and we are gonna set this right on top of the Esbit stove. Now, you do have to be really careful with these uh, because you can actually burn something really bad with these things. And uh, there we go. Kind of a balancing trick sometimes with it. And maybe we need to move our packages away. Okay. So we got our uh, little canteen here. World War II reproduction canteen. We're going to take that. And we're going to get our cup that just folds out from the canteen itself. And you have this little latch on the back. It fits down. And there's your canteen cup. And uh, we're going to take... We're actually gonna pour some water in this and get our isotonic drink going while the, uh, the ration itself is heating up. So our isotonic drink's right here. Pull the tab off of that, throw it in the trash. And it actually doesn't smell like anything. So I'm gonna pour that in and Let's, I'm kind of weary about this. It, it, it's got a really white color to it, if you can tell in the cup. Um, don't tell me I just put salt in this because that's gonna be pretty funny. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try a little spoon. Oh, it's a drink. <laughs> We're safe. Um, it really has a weird taste. Um, you can tell it looks like salt water almost if you was a mix salt and water. Um, it has the smell of a very faint Gatorade and it. It really, oh yeah, maybe we need to do that. I'm uh, not relieving the pressure off the can there. And Art just pointed that out. That is a uh, mistake that you can make very easily like I just done, and there we go. And uh, yeah, thank you, Art. <laughs> that, that started to get interesting. It's been a long day, guys, been at work. Um, so, okay, you got the pressure relieved. Uh, this isotonic drink though, man, it's not very good. It's, uh, you know, I used to be a fireman. Honestly, that's a true story. I was a career firefighter for seven years. <laughs> um, the uh, isotonic drink is not my really my cup of tea, and it, it's got a weird taste. It smells like Gatorade and tastes like Gatorade with no taste. And uh, yeah, we're uh, we're kind of spewing here a little bit, <laughs> so that means it's cooking. And uh, I've got the pressure relief in it, so we're good. Nothing to worry about there. Okay, guys, so we have our fluoride here and we've got several isotonic drinks here. And uh, we'll check some of those out in just a bit. But for right now, we're gonna open up this pate. Mm, check this out. And always remember when you're buying these Ford MREs, um, have a spoon handy. Because a lot of these rations do not come with spoons. This one did not. So you wanna have some kind of eating utensil along with you. and. Uh, We've got our spoon here, and the pate looks really good. Uh, looks like it's got some pepper in it maybe and different things, and we're gonna try it out. Okay. Um, pretty good pate. It's got an interesting taste to it. And uh, 
very smooth, and it's actually really good. So the Spanish pate gives uh, gets two thumbs up, and I just wish they put you some crackers in here to go with this, but very good on a Spanish pate. And um, it's, it's a liver pate, and it tastes really good. And uh, guys, go check out Ford MRE and get you a Ford MRE Spork. And, and uh, the Spanish usually, okay, somebody just said the Spanish usually open one of these up, pour the contents of it into your mouth, and wash it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try that right now. So I got four packages of these things. So I don't see what it would hurt. So I'm gonna take the contents right here. You can see the powder down in the bag. And uh, yeah, it's the same, same flavor as the other we just opened up. And uh, I'm gonna pour this in my mouth and wash it down with some water and see how it tastes. I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> wow. Um, Okay, that's like taking a big, sweet shot of an Alka-Seltzer. Ooh! Um, no. No, sir. Not doing that anymore. Um, whoo! Um, yeah. They can have that all they want. I think I'm going to stick the missing in the water because that was horrible. Um, it tastes like Gatorade when you do it like that. But... I don't recommend doing it. Ooh, man, that is sweet. Good thing I got a canteen here of water. Um, oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so <laughs> next on the list, we're gonna take some of these sardines. I guess the sardines, yep. That would be sardines. And uh, this looks very similar to a World War II German sardine can. I know I keep comparing stuff in there to World War II um, German items, but it's the truth. German, The German army, a lot of times in the field, will be supplied with these sardines, and the cans looked a lot like this. So pretty neat to see some sardines um, actually in a ration. I've never had sardines in a ration before. And uh, you can tell it's a... It's a fish, but it's not in a usual sardine format. That's just probably some kind of salmon. So let's check it out. It's actually tuna, and it's got a really good taste to it. Um, ooh. I'm not a big fish guy. That's actually pretty good. It tastes a lot like chicken. Um, but our Esbit stove has gone out here, and this is heated up pretty good. So we're just gonna take that off. Yeah, it's still going just a little bit. And basically what you can do with this, take some uh, water on your spoon and just put it out. So it only takes a little bit. And then we'll move this right out the way. Okay. So we got our main, one of my main courses here and we're gonna let that cool down for a minute. That's pretty hot. Um, duh, just come off the Esbit stove. And this is your fruit cocktail. We're going to open this up. And I don't know about the look of that. There you go. Fruit cocktail uh, from the, uh, the Spanish ration. So basically so far we have the pate uh, right here, the tuna, the fruit cocktail. We got our main course, uh, which is um, undoubtedly some kind of stew here, um, which actually smells really good. Uh, we're going to try some of the fruit cocktail. You got some peaches, some pears. Um, looks like maybe some cherries in there as well. And uh, smells really good. It smells just like a usual fruit cocktail you get in a can. Nothing different about it. And let's try it out. That's great. I Man, you can't go wrong with fruit cocktail ever. Um, yeah, this fruit cocktail is really good. It's got some spare, uh, pears, some um, peaches. A um, lot of different things mixed in with it, and it tastes just like any other normal fruit cocktail uh, that you would buy in a store. Um, nothing really different about it. It's really good, uh, really tasty. So, 
I guess another bite here. And uh, yeah, so that's really good. And we're gonna open up our main course here in just a minute. Let me grab something to grab this with. All right, got something to grab this with to open it up. And I'll open up here off camera. Looks like I can get a pretty good grip on it. There we go. And wow, this smells really good. And you could tell it's, I may have been wrong. Instead of some kind of stew, it's just looks like some pork or beef mixed up in a can here. And uh, it smells awesome though. Um, you see the piece of meat here and there we go. Very hot. You can see the steam coming off of it. Yeah. Wow. This is really, really nice. It's a really tender piece of meat. Um, almost like a piece of roast. This is really good. This is, I don't think this is pork. This is going to be beef. Um, but it's really, really good. Got a really good flavor. And it's very, very, very tender. So put these napkins to the test here. And I give you several of these. So several little napkins. And uh, very, very, very good. Um, you also get some toothpaste or tooth cream that we're going to do in a minute and you get this acetonic drink and I'm going to give it one more go um, I have a feeling she may have been pulling my leg but we're going to actually give this one more go and see if we can do it <laughs> yeah same thing there's no difference in these flavors of these drinks uh, they're just all isotonic um, drinks and they're basically to replace the vitamins in your body. Uh, when you're in combat, often troops will um, be on the run, be sweating a lot, and they have to have something to replace those vitamins to keep them going uh, because oftentimes they're going without a lot of sleep. And these isotonic drinks is um, the reason why they have these in these rations. And... You know, it's neat to see throughout the history um, of militaries from all over the world how they develop rations to re-energize the men. And it's, um, it's very cool to just see some of the things and how it's transitioned over time. So these isotonic drinks are always neat to um, check out. And we're going to, she says she's not pulling my leg to actually take this, open it up, pour it in her mouth, and then chase it down with some water. So we're going to do that one more time. Oh. Yeah, it don't get any better. Um, it's actually got a kind of a salty taste to it. Um, well, it's got, it, it does actually have a very salty taste to it and a very sweet taste at the same time. It's very odd. Um, but... Yeah, apparently the Spanish take these, open them up like, you know, they're saying on, on the live chat here on this live stream and chase them down with water. Well, they're better men than me because that's nasty. I mean, that's just gross. Um, as opposed to this cup, I just put it in some water. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be drinking straight water from here on out. Um, so, apparently... They do it so they get your energy boost while they're on the move. Um, I think you may be right on that comment. <laughs> oh, guys, that's uh, that's something else, I tell you. Um, all right, let's check out what I've been waiting for in this ration. The uh, You can see it, Crema Dena Florida. Um, don't. Okay. <laughs> Ingredients on this is aqua. 
um, which is water, sorbitol, glycerin, hydrate, um, hydrated, hyd hydrated silica, aluminum um, hydroxide, sodium sulfate, aroma, huh. Um, oh man, check that out. It's just straight up, yeah, straight up toothpaste. Oh, it actually tastes pretty damn good. Um, tastes pretty good. Wow, very strong toothpaste. And uh, it actually tastes better than the toothpaste I use here at the house. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It, uh, it's definitely very fresh on your breath. And I guess these guys, if they have a toothbrush with them, they'll take it and brush your teeth with it. Um, but they'll take this, basically stick it in their mouth, get the toothpaste out. Holy hell, that's hot. Um, yeah, um, woo. It's a very good tasting toothpaste. Very pepperminty. And, uh, and you get the toothbrush at breakfast. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't get a breakfast one. Art, Nina, over at 4 MRE, I'm going to be ordering the breakfast one. <laughs> Just so I can get the toothbrush. Um, this is pretty cool. I have never seen toothpaste actually come with a ration. So it's something new on me. Actually a cool feature. And it's something neat to think about, you know. Uh, toothpaste makes really good sense to throw in with a ration. And then you have your wet wipe here. I believe that's what, well, maybe that's not what this is. I don't really know what this is. Um, I don't want to taste something. I don't know what it is. If you guys can see that, some kind of clear liquid. Okay, it's some kind of, okay, that's like Germex. That's exactly what this is. And uh, you could, yeah, you could smell it. It, it smells kind of like Germex in a way. Uh, not really. I think that's what this is. Yes. And uh, hand sanitizer. <laughs> and uh, very odd. Uh, got a very odd smell to it. Never seen it come like that either. Um, very strong smell to it though. Okay. So we got this big package here. <laughs> I almost did eat that uh, hand sanitizer. <laughs> that would have been funny. Um, so, guys, a word of advice. When you get one of these rations in, <laughs> please kind of know what the contents of it are before you open it up because I kind of wanted this to be a surprise. didn't want to know what was in it. So um, I didn't want to check out anything. And, yeah, I, um, I, maybe I should have because I almost ate hand sanitizer there. Um, and this is soup um, as we're – you know, someone's just told me on here. Uh, okay, so we got soup here. Don't really know what kind of soup this is, but we're gonna... <laughs> is there an English side to this instruction sheet? Um, let's check that out. Let's see. Uh, oh, there is an English side to this sheet. Okay, it says bag of vegetable instant soup, tin of beef with peas, tin of white tuna, fish, um, and vegetable oil, tin of fruit cocktail, tin of pate, doesn't say what kind of pate it is, water uh, purification tablets, three solid uh, combustible tablets, which is your S-bit tablets, Four bags of isotonic powder with vitamin C, chewing gum, envelope of matches, stove for warming, bag of cellulose paper, which is your toilet paper, and uh, instant hand disinfectant and one information label. So there's a the hand disinfectant I almost ate. Um, I'm sure you guys would have had a kick out of that one. Uh, so we got the soup here. Uh, that's right, Art. We don't, we don't usually read directions. We just try to wing it. <laughs> Um, a lot of times that ends up backfiring, but sometimes 
Well, okay, most of the time we're, we're good. <laughs> but uh, this is the vegetable soup. And open it up. Oh, wow, it looks like your little croutons in there, if you guys can see that. We're going to dump this in our canteen cup here. And this is what I almost drank. So even better, I'm almost drinking soup, which I guess that's okay. But I'm almost also drinking hand sanitizer in this ration. Um, got some mediocre hot water here. Water's kind of cooled down, so that's all right. We'll test it out anyway. Um, got some croutons in it. And this soup, if you got a canteen cup like this, a lot of times it can just be drank out of the canteen cup. So let's check it out. Okay. Pretty good soup. Um, has a really weird taste to it. it kind of spilt a little bit. But another thing about canteen cups, watch this handle. Because uh, it just... Kind of went all over me, but <laughs> this has uh, been one of these just outright comical ration reviews, and that's a neat thing about doing live streams is you get to see all the unedited footage, and I like me spilling soup all over myself, and almost eating hand sanitizer, and choking on toothpaste, and isotonic drink. So, um, other than that, this ration is almost good. Um, I mean, well, this ration is good, not almost good. It is pretty good. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, it, uh, it's actually very, very nice. And, guys, when I ordered this ration, I also ordered something called um, Coca cola which is a German chocolate. And the chocolate was developed during World War II, and we're going to try it in just a second. Um, and Art Nina has those at foreign MRE as well. And this is a very, very good German chocolate. And uh, let me grab it for you and we'll try that out. We, uh, we have the German chocolate here, and you can get this from foreign MRE. It's called uh, Coca cola and it's basically a German chocolate that was developed during World War II. And this chocolate was a caffeinated chocolate that uh, was made to help the troops kind of get their spirits back up and keep them going. Um, it has coffee and cola bean infused within it. And if you open it up here, you, you can get these at four and MRE again. And uh, this, is, this is a really, really good chocolate. You get the little plastic thing off of here. And this is what basically the chocolate looks like. It comes with little bitty pieces that you can break off. And you don't wanna eat a whole piece of this. This is a very bitter chocolate. Uh, the red cans are the bitter cans. The blue cans are the milk chocolate cans. But this chocolate was, again, developed by the German Army in World War II. It has a long history to it. It's really cool um, to check it out. And the uh, red can right here is the dark chocolate. And the blue can that you can get of this is the milk chocolate. Foreign MRE has these in stock. And, guys, please go check Foreign MRE out. Order you some great rations. And you can get other great stuff like chocolates on there as well. And uh, I'm going to definitely be ordering some of these. This is my favorite chocolate. And it's very hard to find. It's very hard to come by unless you order it off eBay or somewhere. And uh, all you do is take a little bitty bite. And that's it. Um, chocolate's made to be rationed throughout the day. It's a dark chocolate, very bitter. But it has a good taste. It has a coffee um, taste infused with a cola bean. And... You get basically 16 pieces in this tin. And um, yeah, back in the day, as somebody saying, Marilyn saying on here, they had uh, this chocolate infused with cocaine. And the reason why they done that is because the cocaine that was associated with the cocoa 
would actually give the troops a boost. Um, back then, they didn't really consider that a drug. And it was infused with in the chocolate to keep the soldiers going. So, pretty cool. Um, also, Ford MRE has sporks. I need to get one. Um, <laughs> so, um, guys, join me and get some sporks. Um, they got coffee mugs on there, too. <laughs> Thank you, Kalis. Um, I need to get a coffee mug, too, from uh, Foreign MRE. So, um, guys, please go check out Foreign MRE. They are by far the best in the business of rations. They have United States rations, foreign rations. Um, they have all kinds of rations that come in stock, and they never have the same thing on a website. Every time I go in there, I find something new, and it's always at the best prices. So... Right now, these rations are actually on sale for, I think, around 20 bucks. So you can actually pick up one of these for uh, Spain, uh, Spain rations for around 20 bucks. And trust me, they're worth checking out as long as you don't spill everything all over yourself and uh, try to eat, you know, drink the, or eat the hand sanitizer. Um, okay, they do not have uh, U.S. rations. They only have foreign ones. Um, U.S. rations you can find here all over the states. Um, but... You guys, they have Lithuanian rations, uh, Spanish rations. I've seen some um, Australian rations on there, um, British rations, French rations, Kazakhstan rations, Ukrainian rations. You name it, they've got it on there. Russian rations, and my goal is my goal is to check out every one of them. So um, we have a uh, another ration we got from Foreign MRE that we're going to be doing a little bit uh, later on. Uh, the Spanish rations uh, at Ford and MRE are for sale, Art says, so, um, the breakfast rations. So I'm probably going to be ordering me one of these Spanish breakfast rations real soon and a sport um, <laughs> and probably some more Shaka Cola. So guys, go check out Ford and MRE and make an order of your own. Um, this ration, though, Pretty good. I mean, everything here, again, is top-notch. No complaints with anything. Uh, the beef is actually pretty good. It's got peas mixed in with it. The fruit cocktail is probably my favorite because I love fruit cocktail. And uh, the cool thing was toothpaste. Toothpaste was actually decent, which who would ever guess that ration toothpaste is actually good. Um, word of advice uh, the bag that's got the clear liquid in it is not food or drink. It is hand sanitizer. Do not drink or eat it. Um, and the isotonic drink, do not mix this with water. You can if you want. But um, the word of advice, the way the Spanish, uh, the Spanish do it, was open it up and take a swig of drink with it. And I'm going to do one more of these since I've only got one more left. I'll probably be hopping off the walls tonight, but it'll be okay. You can see it again. Here is uh, um, the uh, powder in here. So let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's like a really salty, bad Alka-Seltzer. Um, it is nasty. So, guys, thank you for all your support on the channel. Really appreciate it. Um, this has been a comical ration review. Um, and we're actually gonna put all this in the fridge, put it in some containers, put it in the fridge and have it for later. Um, oh, so I had a big dinner tonight. Can't eat everything. <laughs> Guys, wanna thank you. Can't thank you enough for all the support you've given to the channel. Glad to be back with you. Glad to be doing this. And, um, I would rather eat the hand sanitizer too, Art. That stuff was horrible. Um, almost forgot, guys. We do have one more thing left. We have the gum here, which is not a laxative. Um, comes in a chiclet form, just as your standard US MRE gum does. All right, the gum is pretty bad. Yeah, we're not doing the gum. Um, gum's really hard, tastes really bad. Um, no, after that toothpaste, I can't take more toothpaste taste. So we're going to let the gum go. Uh, but uh, 
guys, thank you for your support to the channel. Again, I can't thank you enough. And uh, go get some rations for foreign MRE. And um, check out everybody's channel on here. Uh, you got Nathan's MRE, you got Foreign MRE's channel, you've got Old Smokey, you've got uh, Kalist, you've got, you know, just numerous people on here, Mike's Ration Reviews. Um, so many great people here in the uh, ration reviewing community. And the reason why I do these is because of the history. It's neat to see the history behind foreign rations and to see how rations have evolved for the United States military over time. And you can hear a little kid in the background. So, uh, guys, we're going to get off here for now. And we will um, um, see you pretty soon, probably within the next day or so. I'll uh, bring you another ration. I want to start. Um, Renee has a great channel, too. Yeah, go definitely check out Renee's channel. Um, guys, it's, it, it's, been a, it's been a great ration review, and it's glad, I'm glad to be back with you guys. So we'll probably have another review up in the next day or so for you guys to check out. I like doing these live streams. It gives you a chance to communicate with everyone and uh, have some fun. So it's always nice to be able to do it live and talk to everybody at the same time. So, guys, until next time, we'll see you then. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I think all the guys in the chat right now have subscribed to this channel. Can't thank you enough. And uh, I've definitely got to get some more water in my system because that isotonic drink is horrible, and I just drink four of them. I don't really think you're supposed to do that in the course of 15, 20 minutes. Um, so, Art Nina, hopefully I'll... Be okay after all this, and thank you guys so much for all the work you do and all the great rations. Guys, we'll see you next time for History Saver right here on YouTube. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Like, subscribe, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and do not forget, uh, forget to share with your friends. So we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much.